Hey, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. We're really excited to be here today for Works Tools chatting all things Maker X. And today we're talking about the airbrush. The airbrush might be our favorite tool in the whole system. Now, if you're new to the Maker X system, the Maker X system is a tool made for makers, crafters, and DIYers. Yes, they have all the tools you need made better, smarter, more precise, and even portable. They're tools designed with you, the maker, in mind. Every tool in the Maker X system connects to a hub, which connects to a 20 volt battery. Now every hub has an on and off switch and a speed dial. Yes, and what's so awesome about the 20 volt batteries is that they not only work with the Maker X, but they work with the entire 20 volt power share line. Here is the airbrush. Honestly, it's one of our favorite tools in the whole Maker X system. We've never worked with an airbrush before, so we're a little attached to this one. Absolutely. This is what it comes with. It comes with some accessories just to help you clean and maintain uh, the airbrush as you work with it. Um, it also comes with a pump and then of course the actual airbrush. The airbrush connects to the pump like so. And then the whole airbrush here connects to the, the hub, just like all the other tools. And let's take a closer look at what we have here. We have a, a, a little nozzle here, which gives you ultimate control and precision. We have, of course, the paint feeding cup where you load in whatever uh, material you're working with. We have the airflow nozzle here, which you kind of push back to get it working. And then we have a paint volume adjustment screw, which you turn, which will kind of uh, make your uh, paint airbrush paint either thicker or thinner, you know, depending on what you're working with. Once you're ready to start, add paint into the feeding cup just about halfway and make sure the top is on nice and tight. Turn on the hub, but do not worry about the speed through the hub. You're gonna control everything through the airbrush itself. Now we use our airbrush in a lot of our crafting. We've used it on wood, on plastic, glass, fabric. Yes. But no matter how you use it, this will really take your projects to the next level and just amp it up and give you that professional look. Here's a few of our favorite tips. When working with the airbrush, it takes time. It takes practice to get familiar with it. The more you use it, the better you'll get at it. We actually like to test our airbrush on a scrap piece of paper before actually airbrushing onto whatever uh, craft we're making. Absolutely. You know, and this really gives us time to adjust the airflow and adjust the color if we wanted to switch it up. Also, I recommend getting paint that works specifically with an airbrush. You can't just put any type of paint. You have to get something that's compatible with an airbrush. You can find great airbrush paint online or at your local craft store. Yes, yeah, so now my favorite tip, which is so important, is invest in an airbrush cleaner. Now, this is just a solution we found online. You just add it into the paint reservoir, clean it, just press it and let it spray out until everything is clear. It's really important to take the time to clean your airbrush well, because that will help the longevity of it. And every time you use it, it will be like new. If you are looking to take your crafts or whatever you do to the next level that you've never taken before, this is the tool for you. Yes, we cannot wait to see what you create and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.